Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're at Google I.O. And of course, there's been a lot with VR and Google Cardboard. Um, and to get a lot of that video done, they've networked with GoPro. And we have here the prototype, the uh, GoPro 16 cam array. Yep. Okay, it's a long name, but um, I got... Uh, Rashad Mansuri. Rashad, uh, right. tell us all about it. Tell, tell us about it. Well, what you see here is 16 cameras pointed outwards in a uh, sensual fashion. It kind of conforms to the Google open source spec that's coming out pretty soon. But Google approached us a few weeks back, actually a few months back, and indicated, hey, look, we're doing some really amazing to play on cardboard for uh, this year. Uh, and GoPro, as mentioned on stage, is the definitive leader in capture. So we figured why we get together and uh, you know try to make a splash and spherical. Um, so essentially 16 cameras that are synced with these backpacks in the back. These are all 3D printed right now, but these backpacks enable users to turn on one camera and essentially sync every single content or every single camera together as one. So 16 cameras acting as one. No longer needing to go around and hit every single uh, shutter and then post aligning it all with the, with the synchronization. It's all done uh, automatically. Would the user buy all 16 cameras at once or they could buy, like say if one broke, could they buy one separate? They could separate? swap it out. These swap backpacks are really what make it sync and what make it uh, go together. So the cameras are just GoPro cameras, the Hero 4 Blacks that you can find on the market today. And do we know like how much, I know it's early, but do we know like kind of what kind of value we're talking yet or just uh, It's early days still. Uh, we're going to be doing an early access program for select uh, content partners later uh, this summer. Um, the actual uh, prices and details will be coming soon. Just assume it's 16 cameras yeah, uh, plus necessary technology. It's definitely not a stocking stuffer this year, <laughs> but it's something that we want to make enable to uh, some of our friends in Hollywood, some of our friends, uh, YouTube yeah. creators, to just go out there and make some of the cool stuff that you saw on stage. No, I, I would imagine it, it's real. Users are going to have to use a tripod with this. Isn't something? Oh, you'd be surprised. Be able to hold, or can you keep it steady? Or uh, I prefer to keep it steady, just given stabilization. Yeah. But we've had folks. One of our earlier shoots involved using this in low motion. There's issues with regard to stabilization and rolling shutter that we need to compensate for. But you can attach this to a heavy drone if you want, or a heavy lift. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and essentially, it's six pounds, so it's really easy to just put on top of your car too. There are just physics involved with regards to how uh, motion affects the actual uh, cameras and how we ca capture. We do global exposure settings as well, so that all of these cameras essentially act as one. So in a stitch line, you don't see uh, different grades of color, different f-stops, and all one camera. Where's the storage? Where's the storage? Storage is going to be done via SD cards. So it's I a bit of a one. cumbersome process. Again, it's not a consumer product. Uh, storage via SD card and then users will flow this into the pipeline, um, the jump pipeline, to stitch it all together. YouTube's developed some really amazing technology to keep it all together. Now, the more interesting thing to see in this demo uh, is that it's stereo playback. So you see the cars, you see the smoke and the shift video. If you go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com GoPro, you'll see this in mono, but the stereoscopic is really what makes it cool. And YouTube did an amazing job there. I don't know if you can see it in there. Can't get that too well. Can't get yeah. that too well. That's the one thing with VR, but, uh, we're, you know, we kind of, of course, want to get Look at the actual camera setup. When so when do, um, is it going to be starting to become available? For we'll have details users? on it in the next few weeks. Late in the summer, we're going to make it available to select content partners. Oh, great! Um, but yeah, we're really really stoked to see uh, see a lot of interest, and we're hoping to get a lot of cool content out of this. All right, thanks. We're looking awesome. forward to it. Thanks, thanks a lot. Cheers.